Michael J. Fox is playing a news anchor who has to leave because he has Parkinson's, but in the pilot he's getting back to work because all of his medicines have really helped and he's ready to get back on the horse again and come out in front of everyone and so we're just his family helping him get back into the saddle and uh, we're all really excited for him to get out of the house. <laughs> Filming in New York, it's so exciting. So like there have been moments when I, I'm on set and I'll look over at everything and I'll be like, is this real? Like there's those moments when it hits you and it's just like, oh my God, like is this real? I'm playing Michael J. Fox's daughter, someone that I feel like everyone thinks that they know Michael just because, you know, you grow up watching him and knowing him. So I, th I just think like, uh, why wouldn't he be my dad, <laughs> right? Because I mean, I knew him as, you know, watching him as a teenager on shows, so it's just, I don't know, it's, it's kind of, it leaves you speechless and it doesn't seem real. And then I've always thought, like these past few weeks, if I am dreaming, please don't wake me up because this is just so exciting and um, it's a really good vibe, so. The Back to the Future, that uh, all those movies, I think everyone watches them from a very young age. I, I was raised very well, so my parents, when I was a toddler, I, I watched that and you know, it's, Everyone quotes it and the 1.21 gigawatts, you know. So I think it's just like a part of your, your childhood. It's just one of those classics. And because Michael made those movies what they are, you know, um, getting to see him in person the first time when I had my first audition was kind of surreal, you know. But um, he, he's such a great guy. It, it, didn't, it wasn't like weird or anything. And he just has that face that everyone just loves. I play Eve Henry. So I'm Michael's daughter. I'm the middle child, and I'm the only girl. Um, and she's, she's really smart. She, she's a really intelligent girl, but uh, she just doesn't apply herself. So if she has an assignment, she'll do, she'll do anything it takes to not have to do any actual work. You know, like she could get straight A's if she wanted to. She just, that would, you know, take some time. Eve is in 10th grade and they're reading The Grapes of Wrath and they have to do an assignment on it. And so she kind of, uh, she forgets about the assignment and then she's in class and the teacher says, so have you started? And she's like, of course, of course I have. And she has nothing set up. So she decides to document her family. So she tries to compare the Henrys to the Jodes in Grapes of Wrath, which really, there's nothing there. We call it the talking heads. So she'll just put her camera up in their face and make them talk about what it's like dealing with um, a dad who has Parkinson's. And so it, it's really interesting to set up the characters because, you know, it's just right here and we're talking about what it's like for us. And I kind of just, I'm just a con artist the whole time and I'm trying to milk it and say that, oh, it's so hard for us. But, you know, um, I think after a while everything just, it becomes their normal. So everyone has to adjust. And of course, life is different than when you know, they started out. But um, I think after a while, you get used to things. And so what might seem so hard to someone else, you get used to it, and it just becomes internal. And that's how you deal with things. I think what sets this show apart from many others is the humor is so intelligent. Um, we have like the coolest creators, Sam and Will are just the best and on set they'll, uh, we have these really long takes where we just keep on rolling and Will will throw out the most ridiculous alternate lines and so it always keeps you on your toes as an actor because whatever you think you've learned as the script is never really the script. So it's always changing and um, I think that the relationships that the characters have are really fresh and there's really no other show like it because we're not, we're not trying to hide anything. Like, we're not trying to do a show with Michael J. Fox and pretend that he doesn't have Parkinson's because he does. You know, and we're dealing with it, we're not, we're doing it in a really heartfelt way, but we're also finding light in the situation. And I think that that gives a lot of people hope because I've, um, even since I got this part, different people have reached out to me and said, you know, like, I, I know someone who has Parkinson's. And so this show is like a point of hope and awesomeness for us, you know, because we're really looking forward to see how he's doing. And the fact that he's doing so great is just, I, I think that would inspire other other people to see like with medicine nowadays like you can really get through anything and the humor that he has about it is just so inspiring like there's just some lines that you'll catch where you know we really hit it on the nose like yeah he has Parkinson's but he's dealing you know it's all just a part of 
his life and now all the characters' lives.